So in this video, I'm going to talk about how we can use multiple layers of spatial data to build up a map and what different types of spatial data are available. So imagine, for the sake of example, that we're interested in thefts of bags from people eating in restaurants around Gangnam Metro Station in Seoul, in South Korea. Well, we might want to produce a map of where all the restaurants are to start off with before we, we introduce crime into our map. So this map shows the metro station and then the restaurants uh, and some of the features surrounding it. And this map consists of several layers of spatial data. So if we just take them all away and then add them back one at a time, we can see the different layers that are involved. So the first layer is where the schools are locally. So you might want to show this if you think that people at school are involved in this offence, maybe they're victims if they're eating in fast food restaurants at lunchtime, or maybe they're involved as offenders or in some other way. It might not be schools that you're interested, you might be interested in some other type of, of facility, and so you might want to highlight that. But in any case, that's the first layer in our data. The second layer is the outlines of buildings. And this gives not all of these buildings are restaurants, but this gives us some context, allows us to understand the scale of the map and where particular locations are. A bit more context is provided by adding in roads on top of that. We're also going to add in the locations of bus stops because although we think that this crime is centred around a metro station, it might be that other types of transit are relevant to this crime type as well. And then we add in the restaurants themselves and we highlight exactly where the metro station is. So by building up these different layers, we can produce a map that includes several different types of data. And these layers come in three general types. So the first type is point layers. And there's three point layers in our map, the locations of the bus stops, the locations of the restaurants, and the location of the metro station. So the bus stops are simply shown using dots, which is the default in many mapping programs, We've shown the restaurants with the, uh, a letter, but using text. And then we've shown the metro station, and there's only one point in the metro station layer, uh, because it's the only metro station on our map. The metro station we've shown using an image. But underlying that, these are all point data layers. We're just representing them, styling them in different ways. The second type of data is line data. Points have two dimensions, lines have two dimensions and length. Now, you might look at these and think, actually, these aren't lines, these are polygons, because roads do, after all, have widths as well as lengths. But actually, in the underlying spatial data, these streets are simply stored as lines that don't have any width, and I've then styled that layer to give the lines some width by making them thicker so that they look a bit more like roads. The third type of data in our map is polygons. And there's two polygon layers, the outlines of the schools and the outlines of buildings. You can see that the schools layer is underneath the buildings layer because I knew that within schools, there'd be school buildings. And so if I put the schools layer on top of the building layer, then school buildings would be uh, obscured on our map. Once again, underlying the styled data is just a, a two layers of polygons, and then I've styled each layer differently so that you can tell on the map which polygons are buildings and which polygons are schools. I could have styled them differently, so I could have styled the buildings according to the type of building, residential, office, retail, etc. But I chose not to do that for this particular map. So in summary, maps are made up of layers of spatial data. Those layers can be made up of points, lines or polygons, and each layer can usually only hold one type of data. So it's a point layer or a line layer or a polygon layer. And we can style the features in each layer to customize how our map looks, as well as controlling which layers appear on top of which others.